This tool can help you assess the impacts of tariffs, monitor policy changes, and evaluate risks to your supply chain or market access. The first tab offers an overview of the tool's contents, key data sources, the last update date, and key terms used throughout IBIS World's data analysis. You can also visit our Help Center to view additional details on how to use each feature of this tool. Let's jump into the Tariff Exposure tab. In this tab, you'll be able to view different tariff codes and rates by sector and subsector. To select the sector you want, scroll down and choose the sector, then select a subsector and click Update. From there, you'll see all the HS codes that fall within that subsector, along with the product descriptions for each. You will see both the old tariff rate and the new tariff rate that has been put in place. It's important to follow the steps of selecting a sector and subsector and then clicking update as this step links to the information found on the next tab. Next, let's dive into the tariff analysis tab. In this tab, click the drop down menu, select your tariff code, and then click update. Information on the specific commodity will populate, including the closest match to an IBIS World industry and the corresponding IBIS World report code, which typically aligns with the NAICS code. We will also provide the HS code structure of the product, along with the old tariff and new tariff rates associated with major trade partners and any retaliatory tariffs those partners have placed on U.S. exports. On the right-hand side, you can view a list of the top 25 importing and exporting countries by value, helping you assess risks from highly concentrated trade regions. Next, let's jump into the Industry Exposure tab. Like the Tariff Exposure tab, everything is broken down by sector and subsector based on the NAICS coding system. Once again, select the sector you want to view, then choose a subsector and click Update. You can view all industries that fall under that subsector by NAICS code and industry title. For each industry, we provide IBIS World risk scores, which follow our proprietary methodology to measure structural growth and sensitivity risks for the industry as a whole. You can also view import and export exposure for six key trading partners. Watch for any areas with medium, high, or very high risk that may exist within your supply chain or asset portfolio. Finally, let's dive into the Industry Analysis tab to drill down even further. Make sure you hit Update on the previous tab. You can then select a single industry from the dropdown and click Update. Here, you'll find the industry's key statistics and its relationship to the sector and subsector. You can then explore our analyst key findings for this industry. First, we include our proprietary measure for the industry tariff risk level as well as the overall industry risk level. Next, we provide the trade exposure risk level, which measures how susceptible industry operators are to imposed tariffs. We also include the trade power risk measure, which indicates which country is favored by current tariffs. And finally, the demand reliance risk, which measures the potential impact of retaliatory tariffs. Scrolling down, you'll see more detailed insights for each of these risk levels across key trading partners. Again, anything listed as medium, high, or very high will warrant your attention. For example, there is a high level of import exposure with Canada for aluminum imports and a high level of export exposure with Mexico. This is further outlined in the trade power risk data. A higher number indicates that the U.S. has more buying power than its trading partner meaning the power tilt for this commodity is U.S. favored. Conversely, we have less buying power with Mexico for this industry since we export more aluminum to that trading partner. We drill down further into imports and exports with our largest trading partners specific to this industry. The list of the top 25 industry trade partners is organized by total import or export value, so you can quickly see concentration levels with top partners. Finally, we provide additional information related to the industry supply chain, along with the risk level for each upstream supplier or downstream buying industry. For a holistic view of risk across your company's supply chain, return to the Industry Exposure tab and select a new sector and subsector to explore their respective upstream and downstream risks. 
We also list all HS codes that align with this industry and their respective tariffs. All of this information can be downloaded as a PDF by going to Settings, Downloads, and clicking Download PDF. As always, please reach out to your IBISWorld representative with any questions about this tool. If you're not currently an IBISWorld client, visit our website at www.ibisworld.com to get in touch and learn more about memberships that include access to this tool. 